Welcome to the Primitive Lifeways channel. In today's video, we're gonna cover one of my favorite plants out in the high country of Arizona. This is called Rust Trilobata, also known as squaw bush. So stick around, we got a great show coming up. All right, folks, so I wanna welcome you back. Now, the first thing we wanna go over is its utilitarian purposes. And I'm carrying a few arrow shafts and a completed arrow that I made out of Rust Trilobata. So on this plant, you can see that there's a whole bunch of shoots that come right from the base of the plant. And I like to harvest them around this time of the year. This is a very good plant to harvest from because these are already nice and straight. So I just peel off the bark and I let them season for a few weeks. This stuff dries out pretty fast. And then I start making my heat correction. So you can see this one I harvested a couple weeks ago. And this is just a raw shaft with its bark removed. I need to still make heat corrections to it. But once we make heat corrections to it, therefore it becomes very, very straight. This is a, another raw Rust Trilobata shaft. This is a completed arrow. So this has an arrowweed four shaft with an agate tip that just inserts in there. And you can see, this is a nice straight arrow. It's very light too, so we're gonna pick up a tremendous amount of speed. So the next utilitarian use that I wanna discuss involves these younger shoots. So you can see that these ones are older, they're more mature. But we do have some younger ones like this one right here. And some of these ones right in here. They're very flexible. And when you run your hand up and down them, they have a velvety texture. They bend very easily and they coil very easily. So a lot of the natives, they would make baskets out of them. The natives that occupied the lands far before I got here would put that to use. Now these younger shoots, I like to harvest out here late fall, early spring. So these are starting to become less flexible. They're starting to age. And right now wouldn't be the appropriate time to gather these. So now I wanna discuss the edible and medicinal properties of this plant. So traditionally the natives would gather the root during certain stages of development prepare it and cook it so that is in fact edible but my favorite part of the plant is regarding the red berries that you see surrounding it these red berries are in fact edible they taste just like a lemon so biting into a raw lemon you get that same flavor same exact flavor in these red berries they're tart they're a little bit bitter they're sour and they're very sweet just a beautiful plant to take in consideration and consider gathering. So when I do eat these red berries, I like to chew off the outer flesh and then I'll just spit out the seed. The seed is a little bit uh, tough to get through. I'll also infuse it into water. So on a very hot day when I'm out exploring or working on skills, I'll gather a whole bunch of these, throw them in my water and it infuses quite well. Again, gives that nice lemon flavor. Medicinally, the natives would also eat these red berries and when they chewed on it, that would help relieve toothaches. They would also strip off the bark on this plant and they would chew on that bark. The bark would help relieve symptoms of common colds. But again, the red berries are what I go after. I've used this as a food plant for a few years now and definitely one of my favorites along with yucca and agave.